Chicago. We've been stepping to that song for about a year now, and it's growing and growing and growing, and the people really, really love that song. Well, I'm truly blessed, because like I said, I had no idea that the stepping world was attached to my song, so this makes a big thing, you know, big difference in my whole career, actually. So I, I'm, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling it. Now, when I read your bio, you come from California. Is it a small town where you're farming? There, I'm, uh, Cows, pigs, horses, the whole shot. It was all farming capital. It was the farming capital of California. And, uh, you know, I grew up with cowboy boots, plaid shirts, the whole shot. Right. So they, they call you, uh, what do they say? So fast. What is it? <laughs> Country fast. So, oh my goodness. I read that. I was like, yeah. you know what? He does have that rhythm and blues that I really love. Yeah. You know, sometimes. Um, our artists can get away from the rhythm and blues, and that's what we really grew up on and we really like to hear. And then you said you're the blue funk? Oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, the fact that I grew up in the, in the farming community, I didn't really have a lot of influences other than what was at home. Mom, dad, you know, what he played, what she played. So I didn't base my music on anyone. I just based it on how I felt. So that's how, you know, and that's where the soul comes from. And that's the type of music that the steppers are looking for. They're looking for that classy, rhythm and blues, country fast soul. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And I'm, I'm just going to try to put out whatever I can that makes me feel good. I hope it makes everybody else feel good. Yes. So uh, what's next for you? Um, well, right now I've got a lot of things going on out in the UK. They uh, they're actually really like the song out there, too. I dropped it out there first um, some time ago. So. I'm working on a new album right now. I got about 13 songs in the bag, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. yeah. The new album's called Anticipation. Well, we're anticipating it. <laughs> the steppers are really yeah. anticipating it. Yeah. So I'm ready to do it. Whatever you know, whatever it takes, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. And I, I really want to welcome you to the Midwest. You said this is your first time here in this area. Um, you came when it's hot, so that's good. Hey, you know, it, you got to go when you got to go. And, and right now, this was the calling, so I'm out here. And I like what I've seen so far. Everyone keeps telling me I just need to eat the food. So that's, that's my mission. My next mission is to eat the food. All right. And you're a family man, right? <laughs> yes, yes. I got, a, I got a brand new baby. He'll be uh, one years old on Monday. Yeah. Well, I'm his Facebook friend, so <laughs> I keep up with Kieran. Yes, uh, Facebook, you can find me on Facebook. Um, if you like, I can tell them where, they, where else they can find me. Um, you can find me on uh, CD Baby, uh, iTunes, of course, and uh, if you look at uh, the UK site, which is um, soulunsigned.com, you can find me there. You can also listen to him on Friday nights, 10 p.m., WGBE, me, Karina, with the Bass Stepper Show. I play his music all the time. I just love, so in love with you. I love the fact that he put some Jackson flair in it. <laughs> had to do it, had to do it. Um, and, but I got to give it up to Ken Bedford who, who put this all together for me. He reached out to me and uh, it just made it all feel very home and comfortable. So I appreciate it. Well, I'm so glad to have you here. It's a pleasure. And when you come back again, I'd like another interview. Well, I would, exactly. When I come back, I'm going to find you. <laughs> Thanks so much. You are. Thank you. All right. Don't go away, you all. We have more. We got Dee Robinson coming for an interview right here at the Alhambra Palace. I'm Karina Mitchell with the bass, having a good time in our own way. I'm Karina Mitchell, and this is bass. I'm with the man who makes it happen in Chicago, and his name is Ken Bedford. Hi, Ken. Hi Karina. How are you? Pretty good. Yes. Welcome to the After Work Network and Steppers Affair right here at the beautiful Alhambra Palace. Right. It is beautiful, Ken. Thank you. You do uh, a set here like once a month. We were doing it the first Thursday of every month. We're kind of backing off to maybe once every two months, so I get a chance to rest. And But I was doing other things. But this is a, I'm, I love this venue. You, you have to see it. The owner spent over $9 million. Everything is imported. Dance for $100,000 sound system. It is fabulous. 
Your guest was fabulous today. Yeah, we were so happy to have Mr. Chris Youngblood and Miss D. Robinson. Those two artists have the hottest stepper records in Chicago right now. Right, right, right. We enjoyed it today. Um, also, you have a following that just loves Kim Bedford, I noticed. You can bring the crowd out. We're very happy to have With all you the people come out and yeah, and the white, the all white attire. So they look so good tonight. And so the, oh, there's Lady Margaret over there. I wanted to see her. Okay. Yeah. Who? Lady Margaret. Oh yeah, oh, she yeah. also does yeah. pepper sets in Chicago. Now D. Robbins, I don't know if you talked to D. Robbins yet, but she's making a movie, and I've seen the movie, the soundtrack, the uh, the uh, the, uh, the trailer, trailer, and it looks as good as this song playing right now, Steve Harvey's movie. Fabulous. And it's all about stepping. That's fabulous. That's, that is really good. I enjoyed that. Well, Ken, I'm not going to hold you up too long because I know that you right. really... we got to go step. Let's go right. step. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for interviewing us. You're welcome. Bye-bye. All right. How you doing, Chris? I'm good. Chicago, how you doing? Thanks for having me out here, y'all. This feels good. Y'all look beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm ready.